Okay, people, Steve-O's tunes here. We're out at the gorgeous Indian Rocks Beach. I'm gonna hunt a little treasure. I got my scoop, my metal detector, and I'm ready to roll. Let's go. Alright, I got a hit right here. We might have something. Okay, in the scoop, or it's near the scoop. Nope, still in the hole. Right, let's check it out. Yeah, it looks like a piece of garbage. See what that is. Looks like it's just a little penny. Yeah. It's a zinc penny with a lot of crusty. In the pouch. So we're back at it here. I had a little hit on something. It's saying it's a screw cap or something like that, but let's dig it. All right, it's probably somewhere right in here. Let's see what we got. saying it's not that deep so maybe it's on this side somewhere over here that could be could be it Says it's right there, so I don't know. Unless it's real small, like a rivet or something. <laughs> All right, maybe I finally got it and see what's in here. Wow, no wonder it's a weird signal. That is super crusty. Um, looks, looks like a penny. It's either, yeah, it looks, I can see a little copper. Super crusty penny giving weird signals in the pouch. Got a hit on something here. It's 
given a signal of a nickel. Let's see what we can do about that. Let me just see how deep it is one more time. Uh, six or eight inches, maybe. Okay. Saw something shiny like foil. Uh, that was a shell. Uh, I don't see it. Hmm, interesting. No signal all of a sudden. Try one more little dig in there. Maybe I flip something on the edge. <clears throat> That's my scoop. Got too close. That's me hitting the sand. Oh, that's probably it. I probably flicked it over here. Oh, hey, it's a crusty penny. I believe. Oh, no, it's not. It's a historic, uh, rusty uh, beach trash. I'll do a couple swings over this area, though, to see if we got anything else here. Uh, that'd be a no. It's time for a little more beauty footage here. Um, a little more beach. Indian Rocks Beach in Florida. It's really nice out. It's uh, about 90, but it's a little overcast. That's what's keeping me from melting. I believe we have something here. Uh, it's saying it's a dime possibility. It says it's pretty deep, so we'll see. Well, it's deeper than that scoop. It might be up here. All right, I think it's out of the hole in that little bunch. Let's see. See what we can do here. No, oh, looks like a shell. A shell. And uh hmm, I don't see a dime in there. Alright, let me swing this again. Missed it. It's in there somewhere. Maybe it's on that side better. This side of the wall. in here somewhere. Unless it's falling through my scoop or something, but... Yeah, 
There it is. I saw it. It's a mighty green old penny. Nope. That's a dime. It's a Roosevelt dime. Well, it's pretty gorgeous out here. There's all the plant life that lives on the dune, but I think I got a little signal down here. It's saying it's a pop top, pull tab. Somewhere in there. It's saying it's about three bars down, which should be about six inches. I felt something could be a chunk of a can, you never know. Yep. Looks like it, maybe. Well, interesting. Whatever that was, I moved it. <laughs> Love it, the disappearing signal. It's probably this thing. Yeah. That looks like a piece of foil. It's like a cigarette or a gum wrapper or something. In the pouch, a little park cleanup, beach cleanup. Now I'll swing around here again, but I doubt there's anything. Nah. Not much out of that one. Let's cover this up and do a little live hunting down by the seashore. Gulf of Mexico, Indian Rocks Beach, Florida. It's getting nice, nice out now. The wind's kicking up a little because we had some clouds. All right, let's just go down here. up a little. It looks highly, it's kind of got a lot of black grain in it like it could be iron. Live hunting. Ooh, that water's nice and cool on the feet. the feet. About 90 degrees out here if I didn't mention earlier. But the breeze has kicked up now to about 15 to 20. Take a quick peek out here what's happening. You don't get the perfect swings out here when the waves are hitting your detector, but it's not too bad. There's like a, you can hear me, there's like a sandbar out there. And uh, there's a little dip before you get to it. See 
if we can find something in the water. Couple birds. So it's a little cloudy and a little cooler. And the uh, wind started coming out of the west and it's giving, making the waves rougher. Let's do a little live hunting. Let's get swinging this thing. One little beep, I'll take a beep. I'll take a grunt. It's indicating that it is a nickel, if I can find the signal. Not very deep, so I'm going to dig it right here, see what we can get. Of course, that could be wrong. It says it's still in there. I ran them out, I've gotten it. That's my scoop. Alright, could be in here. Get up here and see what I got. It is the world famous, I can't believe it. It is the red twin nostriled uh, beer tab, okay, in the pouch for that. Well, if you find a beer tab, you can find a diamond ring, so that's about, that's about it for that one. Do a little more hunting here. Oh, that hurt. Some people aren't quite social distancing. They walk right by you like they're going to bump into you. Because, you know, there's no room out here to walk around someone, if you, you know, if you can tell. Everyone has to walk exactly where I'm walking. It's their, their freedom. I think low tide was about 2 p.m., probably about four something. A lot of people out here, but they are staying in their own little groups, like family, a couple kids, three or four friends. They're not, everybody's kind of leaving a lot of space on the beach. Today's, I think, March, uh, I mean March, May, is it 14th or 15th? 
it's Friday. All the way up to the edge of the dune here. There it is. A lot of nice plants. And a few, looks like a few sea oats. See, I, I know this GoPro doesn't really show stuff like that that well because you have to be a little closer, but that looks like an older place, 40s or 50s. Flowers, dunes, this is a gorgeous area. The, uh, I'll uh, do a little spin around here. It's, uh, there's like an access to this beach about every block or two with maybe room for 20 cars and of course the people that live there have a lot more parking but man this beach is just goes on and it's gorgeous it was about 90 when I got here I'd say it's about dropped down to 84 85 but the breeze feels cooler because I think it's raining a little ways off from here uh, I felt like two drops and then it stopped but the overcast is really great. It's really nice. Just imagine yourself sitting in a chair right here. There you go. You're at the beach. Grab a Corona. Just don't throw the lid in the sand. Do not throw the bottle cap in the sand. Uh, I will have to pick it up and then I will charge you. All right. I'm going to shut this camera off for a second and just start doing some digging. Alright, I think I got something here. Probably junk, but we'll see. Yeah, that looks pretty big, so... You can hear me, it's probably bigger than a pop top. That's my scoop. And it says it's pretty far down, so let's just dig it. Hmm. All right. No signal. It said it was a dime, but it could be a crusty penny. Sometimes this stuff rings up weird. Could be my scoop. Let's see what we got here. My luck is not that great. Oh, there it is. Maybe I just missed it. Okay, apparently it's up in here somewhere. Oh, I see it. It's a tiny little thing. It is tiny. Well, it looks like it is a broken piece of jewelry. <laughs> like a, a little it feels heavy like it's pot metal with like a gold coating uh, don't know probably a part of an earring or a bracelet something cheap I don't know in the pouch and we'll 
see if that thing is later. Check the area, see if there's any more pieces. Boy, that little thing fell right through the sco holes on this scoop. This scoop's uh, called a Pilgrim, and it's got the hexagonal uh, holes, and I think they're, I want to say like 7 or 10 millimeters something, I don't know. But mostly dimes won't go through it, but little like earrings and stuff would. All right, on to the next one. I heard something about right here. And it says it's uh, pretty deep, eight inches, and it could be a pull tab or a zinc penny. I'm betting it's a penny. We'll try to get it. It's a weird signal, a little bit. It sounds like half zinc and half junk. It's a possible culprit. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, Lordy. That is a little piece of weird metal. It's probably... I don't know. Could be a rock. It looks like a little piece of weird metal. That'll go in the pouch and I'll check the hole. Alright, I'm going to wrap it up here. Didn't find much today. <laughs> but I got to hang out at a beautiful beach and right now it is gorgeous out here. It's really overcast, cooled everything off. So I'm going to walk a little bit with this camera and uh, ride along the surf until I get back up to where I'm parked. See you next time. Okay, here's the wrap-up video. I didn't get a lot today at Indian Rocks Beach. I walked forever. There's just not a lot out there. Um, here's my junk. I got a pull tab, some random foil, some uh, weird beach metal junk. Uh, I got a crusty penny. I think one of them's a 1996 and the other one's like a 2018. Both uh, zinc pennies. And I got a dime that's like uh, 2018. And this weird little golden uh, bobble thing. It looks to be about like a, a piece off of somebody's earring. Or a um, something. Because it looks like it has a hole where like metal chain stuff goes. But it's tarnished and it's got like seams. I just don't think it's anything real. That'll do it for Steve-O's Tunes today. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. Subscribe. See you next time.